hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i have a very quick um as you can see grocery haul for you guys it is plant-based and i do shop at walmart and then at the end i'm going to show you guys a few things that i always have on hand and stocked in my pantry to help me save money and not have to do a huge um, shopping trip each week so the first thing I have is my soy milk this is the one I use I love it for my oatmeal um, smoothies in my matcha lattes I've been making and then I've been kind of on a tofu kick I eat a ton of brown rice and broccoli and I added tofu to it last week and it was so good with some everything but the bagel seasoning it just it was so good and then obviously tofu has a lot of great protein so it keeps you fuller a lot longer and then I grabbed a bag of yellow potatoes to make some mashed potatoes. It's going to be really cold here in Texas this next week and a big bowl of mashed potatoes and gravy just sounds so good. And then I grabbed a bag of sweet potatoes. Um, I'm going to eat some of these, but they are mainly for the puppy dogs. They love, love baked sweet potatoes. So I try to make them a batch of it every single week. And then I bought some organic 100% whole grain bread. I love this brand if you can find it at your Walmart. I've been eating more bread than I probably need to lately and I usually just eat whatever bread we have in the house. So I figured if I'm gonna eat bread, buy some um, that's a little bit healthier. So the fat is really low and it's full of good ingredients. So grab that. I love toast with a little bit of cashew butter and sliced banana. It's like my favorite snack ever. And then Walmart was completely out of ginger root. The whole bin was completely wiped clean. So I found this ginger paste. I've never used it before, but you know, I figured I'd try it. I need it for a recipe this week. So hopefully it turns out well, a little pricey, um, but hopefully it's good. And then I also needed some low sodium soy sauce. We're completely out of soy sauce. And I also needed this for a stir fry recipe this week. And then you will see four cans of unsalted or no salt added cut green beans. These again are for my puppy dogs. They love green beans so they get it in their dinner every night. And then kind of the same thing with bread. Um, I love pasta but I wanted to try to maybe switch over to whole grain. I'm really not into like the lentil pastas, the chickpea pastas, like all that stuff. I just can't with the texture. Um, so I'm going to try whole grain pasta. This is recommended in like the forks over knives way of eating as well. So I'm going to give that a try this week. And then like I mentioned, I've been on a huge brown rice and broccoli kick. So I did grab four bags of frozen broccoli. This is just super easy for me to take to work for lunches because you know just throw it in the microwave and then heat up some rice and heat up my tofu and I'm good to go and then I had to get a bag of frozen strawberries for smoothies even though it's gonna be really cold I've also kind of been on a smoothie kick it's just a great way to get a bunch of nutrition in and then this is something I don't buy a ton of um, but I haven't seen the Gardein meatballs in months like a really long time so I figured I would just get one to have it on hand. And um, the fat's a little high, seven grams for three meatballs. So I'm just gonna try to stick to the portion size. But honestly, I think if you do really well with your eating throughout the entire week, one meal with a little bit of mock meat is not gonna hurt you. And then again for my stir fry, I grabbed this sugar snap pea stir fry mix. Um, it's frozen. And this was the only one that Walmart had that didn't have mushrooms in it. I am not a mushroom eater, so I picked this one up. So that is my super small grocery haul this week. But it is enough food to feed me this week, and I only spent about $50. And remember, a lot of the stuff I bought was organic. But here's some stuff I always have on hand to keep my grocery budget like good to go. So we always have a ton of bananas in the house. We had a whole bag of onions. I had some leftover apples from the previous week. And then in the refrigerator, we had a huge thing of organic baby spinach. This is great to just throw into smoothies, throw into soups, um, salads, if you're a salad eater. I had some Brussels sprouts and some avocado. 
And then in the freezer, I always have some frozen vegetables. And I did notice that I already had a bag of stir fry veggies, but that's okay. And then some frozen fruit, of course. And then even in the pantry, I normally always have a ton of beans and canned tomatoes on hand. You can easily make a like veggie soup with. This chili is really good on baked potatoes, um, some vegetable bouillon, uh, lots of pasta sauce. I always have pasta sauce on hand. I have a bin of potatoes, so I have the purple sweet potatoes and some russet potatoes. Here is the gravy I like. I always have a ton of that on hand. And then I buy my lentils in bulk from nuts.com. I do need to do a reorder soon, but I have some organic red lentils and green lentils. So that is it for this week's grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.